Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering DevNet Create 2017. Brought to you by Cisco. Hey, welcome back everyone. We are here live in San Francisco for theCUBE's exclusive two days of coverage of Cisco's new inaugural event called DevNet Create, an extension of their classical developer group, DevNet. DevNet Create really going into the ethos of DevOps, infrastructure as code, targeting cloud native and app developers, the collision between applications and infrastructure, a new direction for Cisco. This is theCUBE, I'm John Furrier with my co-host Peter Burris. Our next guest is Havana Srinivas. Oh, is it Sri Sri Srinivas. Srinivas, solutions architect at PubNub, which provides real-time Pub Sub, welcome to theCUBE. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, it's great to be here and so, talk to you guys. Pub Nub, you couldn't get Pub Sub, but it relates. Explain what you guys do, real quick. Yeah, so what Pub Nub is, is it provides real-time infrastructure as a service. So we realized that a lot of people were trying to build these real-time, always-on applications, wherein when something happens in real life, you want that message or event to be translated to several your friends or you know, other users instantly. So everyone at trying to build a real-time app, like say a taxi dispatch app, like Lyft, or for example, a chat application where if I send a message, my friends need to receive it instantly. Anyone trying to build these kind of real-time applications were building the infrastructure before they even got to the best part, which is their business logic. So we decided that we will provide that infrastructure, we'll provide that plumbing, we'll build a global distributed network for all of these app developers to build their always-on applications. So what we do is provide this real-time bi-directional communication between devices in a very scalable manner, and uh, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it focuses on real-time communication. And the key there is that most apps are mobile and require this. So you right. want to get them accelerated, because let's face it, most apps don't make it, right? So why build all the plumbing, Right. focus on getting to figuring out the Ex best app Experience. Exactly, so it's for mobile, web, and even for IoT devices, because everyone now wants to talk to each other. You're not going to let that garage row yeah. sit by itself. <laughs> you want to connect it. So, um, like you said, it's it's meant to go to market quickly. Uh, you, Like you said, not every company has the resources yeah. or the time and the effort to put into building this infrastructure, so why don't we provide this as a service? So now they're focusing on their business yeah. logic and trying to make that app look pretty. So you got, you're clearly in the world of cloud native, which really is, Pure cloud, mostly startups, because why have a data center? If you're a right. startup, I mean, right. anyone who does a startup these days, if you have a data center, you're either crazy, or you have so much cash, you just want to spend it. You why would you want to do, do it? Just go right to the cloud. Right, right, right. So we're, we call ourselves more of a network, because we're not, we're, think of it as a CDN, but for real-time data. Uh, yeah. It's no longer CDN, static files. smaller file. messages, deterministic performance. Exactly, exactly, you nailed it. So, so what we're... You nailed it. I'm the man. <laughs> 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 All right, so talk to, talk to me about where your use cases are. Give us some examples of customers and yeah. some specific uh, apps that are on the network. For sure, so if you take eBay for instance, they use, a, use PubNub for buy or sell or chat. So you know, you, you go on eBay, you want to talk to that buyer before you actually buy that thing. So that chat application is powered by PubNub. Or for instance, you go to Logitech and then you want to control mm -hmm. all these devices in your house, and PubNub is what enables that. From your mobile phone to all the devices in your house, that is PubNub in play there. Or if, for instance, yeah. Lyft uses us for, to see where exactly the driver is in real time. So you, you're able to see every instantly. Yeah. So we, I mean, it's such a low-lying infrastructure that we play in like almost 35 different industries, whether it's real-time chat yeah. or taxi dispatch, multiplayer game, like pocket gems uses us, that's, that's where it's real time at its core, right? So you have two screens, people are playing a game, you want to see what the other person is doing, right? That's the essence of a multiplayer game. And so you can imagine how important it is to be real time in such a yeah. use case, and that's where PubNub fits in. But just so we're clear, we're not talking about SCADA kinds of, you know, uh, uh, system control kinds of things, low level IoT protocols. We're talking about uh, machine that serve human types of speeds. Exactly. A few hundred milliseconds, that kind of stuff. Exactly, exactly. So we're protocol, we call ourselves protocol agnostic. So we, as long as a device can speak TCP, it can understand PubNub. So all you're dealing with is that high level, application level API. So you're still layer seven. Yes, very much layer That's seven. That's important. Yeah, but then, the way we provide that layer seven API is by building out this very robust network. 
Yeah. All right, so t explain to us how you guys play with microservices because you're doing a topic on always on apps or driving microservices to the edge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so far you understood that it's like, um, PubNub's almost like a message pipeline between devices. If you have a message to throw out, PubNub will route it for you anywhere in the world. So then we decided that people are sending all these you know, small bits of data through our network, but let's do something with that data. So maybe if there's a chat application and people are mm -hmm. talking to each other, maybe you want to translate it in stream. Mm -hmm. So you put in a function there on the PubNub network that says, hey, if my destination is going to a Spanish-speaking person, translate it. Or if I want to do sentiment analysis because I have a, a, a customer support kind of app, data's flowing between an agent and a, you know, a, a, a customer, then let's do some sentiment analysis on it. So what we, what we added to this humongous network is the ability to put small pieces of logic on it so that it acts on the data flowing through the network. And so it becomes easy to spin up these microservices through PubNub and that's what I'm going to be talking about. So it's, yeah, so. So it's a brand new innovation. A new, a new innovation opportunity for you guys. Exactly. To apply logic into a data stream while it's in motion. Of course, yeah, so we recently even did uh, have an, a block, we call this block, event handlers. So we have a block with Cisco Spark. So if you wanted to do any kind of uh, collaboration yeah. using that Cisco Spark, you can now send data through PubNub and instantly, in real time, it will sync up with so Cisco Spark. Havana, I got to get you your perspective on something. We talked to a lot of enterprises and you're involved with a lot of cutting edge companies, microservices, cloud, cloud native. They're doing cutting edge stuff. They don't have time to be bothered yeah. with old fashioned stuff because they don't have no baggage, there's no legacy. A lot of these enterprises have legacy environments. They're trying to be relevant and they're looking to design great apps. Is there a pattern that you've seen or observation that you've noticed on the successful new emerging companies that could be an opportunity for someone to look at and say, hmm, I should do more of that. What's the, what's the trend? <laughs> That's a loaded question. <laughs> but, um, I mean, we talk to a lot of small and medium businesses and also a lot of enterprise level um, companies, but then it's just that the sales cycles are much slower. Like, you can't go to a company and say that, hey, I, I know you're building a, um, a technical product, speeding up your development process, right? So it's up to them to do that. So with enterprise, at least they have the resource and time to do so. But like you said, they have a lot of legacy systems. So it's hard to tear that down and build new, build new stuff that you have, which might be more optimized. But uh, we try to make it work. So we're trying to now, like I said, if you're within the PubNub ecosystem, you can use our blocks but then everyone understands HTTPS. So we've now included a blocks endpoint where if you just talk HTTP, you can get into the PubNub network. So ways to use our network using their infrastructure. So we're trying to make this network accessible for anyone, irrespective of where So integrate easily PubNub. into exactly. these older legacy environments. Exactly. Well, but so, so one of the places where, where at least PubSub initially started was the idea that you could have a publisher without having to know who the clients are. Right, 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 right. So do you anticipate, or does PubNub anticipate that you're actually going to be in a position to say, I as a real-time device or as a real-time service can put something into PubNub and then devices out there can subscribe to it. So a device manufacturer may sell something that takes advantage of that centralized service, but have it operate at in a deterministic, high quality, high reliability way. Is that kind of the direction you're taking? Yeah, so I mean, but at the end of the day, someone has to build an application. Sure. So for instance, even an Insteon, they use PubNub, they integrate PubNub within their devices and they're now selling it at Best Buys and whatnot. So it's like when I, as a customer, buy an Insteon product, I don't know there's PubNub in there. But then using PubNub, Insteon's now able to collect data about you know, my usage patterns or where, where I can be saving energy, et cetera. So the but then the alternative for them is to build a full stack system, manage it, have mm -hmm. system integrators, have yeah. operators, I mean, that was exactly and the case with Insteon. They had 23 on-call support agents all day, every day, trying to do exactly what PubNub did for them. Yeah, and they save that. all that cost. Yeah. It's kind of like why people use Amazon. Right, <laughs> exactly. I don't need a data center, I don't need staff. All right, what do you think about this event? Obviously, Cisco has been first in a lot of markets and succeeded in networking, but didn't really knock it out of the park on home off, um, smart home, or... Um, Linksys. <laughs> and so on and so forth. But now, with cloud native, the, we're saying is that it's an opportunity for them. Yeah. What's your take on Cisco's moving up the stack? I mean, I, I think it's great. It, it, this is one of the first conferences that DevNet is hosting for developers, right? I just got here, but 
we've had a booth here and people are saying really great things and the, the, there's been a steady crowd and apparently there have been great talks. So I'm actually very excited to give my talk. What time's your talk going. today? Yeah, today at 5 p.m. and then I'm, I'm here tomorrow as well. So okay. excited to check out the whole Great thing. to have you on theCUBE and, and thanks for sharing PubNub and we look forward to getting more updates from you and congratulations on your success. And, Thank you. And your customers, thanks it for sharing. It was share. great to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> so, so you much. should stop by our booth. When we'll you stop by and check out PubNub. <laughs> the real-time pub sub service used by all cutting edge companies in cloud native is the Cube, Cube Cloud. Check out our content at youtube.com slash siliconangle. It's our Cube Cloud, all the content there for you. I'm John Furrier with Peter Barris. Stay with us for more live exclusive coverage from Cisco's inaugural event, DevNet Create, after the short break. Hi, I'm April Mitchell, and I'm the Senior Director of Strategy and Planning